This week on Radio KD8TTE, I'm going to bring you into my shack with several short live streams throughout the week. You can see me demonstrate critical tasks for the DoD COMEX 22-2. As this video premieres, we're about two and a half hours away from the start of the exercise. This is a quick video to encourage you to follow along with me and to participate yourself. If you have not seen Radio KD8 TTE episode 61, take a look at that now so you can get familiar with the exercise. If you are a licensed operator, even if you don't have a lot of experience, you are important. You are part of the service and we need you. Are you ready to join me? Stick around. Black one, black one. The rhythm of this exercise is set by these nightly transmissions. 0200 Zulu is the time, and that's going to be a high-powered transmission that takes place on 60 meters, channel 1. It's a request for information. We're then going to have time to go collect the information requested. We're going to be reporting back again on 60 meters at 1200, that's 12 noon local time. We are also going to have WWV, WWVH broadcasts that include information about the exercise that we want to copy. For episode 61, I made a template for the station schedule, and for this week, I used that template to plan my own station operation. So let's have a look at it. Here's what the template looks like. I created it so that a team could cooperate to cover the tasks without requiring that any one operator actually do everything. I'm running KD8TTE as a single operator station, so I'm going to the Contacts tab and I'm going to put my name in place. A multi-operator station would have more of the rows populated. Then we go over to the Schedule tab and I set all of the times to local time. I'm in Eastern Daylight Time, so 0200 Zulu is 2200 on the previous calendar day for me. I chose to listen to the broadcast at around 6 in the morning. That's a good time for me to receive those. Uh, WWV, based in Colorado, is going to be the best reception for me, and DOD's time slot for WWV is at minute 10. So after some listening, I found that 6 in the morning is a good time for me to receive at 5 megahertz. So at 6.10 every morning, I'll be listening for that transmission. Finally, since I am doing everything, I have no need to pass information between operators as I put in the plan. So I just gray out that part. Now I can go to the person column and I can see that Matt is the only option available. That comes from the names in the contact sheet. And now we've got a plan. So we're going to show four things in the live streams this week. One is going to be the 0200 Zulu high power transmission on the evening net and the receiving of a request for information. Two is we're going to be gathering the requested information without the use of internet or phone service. And we are going to be, number three, getting situational awareness from WWV, WWVH broadcast. Number four, we're going to report into the noon local time net to report back the information that we collected. We're not going to live stream the whole operation at my station, just enough to demonstrate, just enough to show you it's no big deal. And when there's a problem, we're just going to work it. It's live, so it's going to be just like you're sitting with me while we work the radio. Problems are likely to arise and you're going to get to see how I deal with them. My goal this week is to encourage you to give it a shot. I'm not going to do everything. I'm going to do just enough to show you how each of those pieces is done so that you can have confidence to try it yourself. Subscribe to the channel so that you can see everything. Hit the alert button if you want to get noticed that I'm about to do a live stream. Exercises like this are important. They're not about finding a way to get you to make a mistake, trying to trip you up on some little detail. They are all about giving you operating experience. Everyone wants you to succeed. Everybody in the amateur radio service, everybody at DOD, everyone in all of the other radio services wants for you to succeed. So these tasks are set up so that you can develop experience doing realistic tasks and gain some confidence as well as experience that you would need to be able to operate in an emergency. 
share it with others. Show this video, show the other video, let others know that you are participating. We want them to participate as well. The more stations that we have active, the more viable the amateur radio service is for emergencies. The more secure and the more resilient we can make our communities and our nation. I'll see you soon. This is Radio KDA TTE.